Hey guys, this is Michael here. I'm sorry that I haven't been able to update or do anything with the website recently. I've been traveling a lot. I've just come back from the U.S. a week ago, and there's just been so many errands I have to, had to run. However, I did redesign the website a little to make it a little bit easier for me as the admin to edit and change the information. I have removed a few plugins, so I think the website is a little faster. That's one of the goals is to make the website faster because I've gotten quite a few f feedback and emails saying that the website is just slow in uploading everything. But while I was going through uh, traveling and putting away the luggage, I actually somehow found a few interesting things which you can see in front of me. These are x-rays I took many, well, three years ago. Now one of them is for my knee, the other are for my hands. Now, as you can see, I am who I say I am. My name is Michael. This I was 25 back then, April 2010, so three years later, I am indeed 28, as I said I am. And if you look at the x-rays from me, from back in 2010 when I was 25, you can see that there is absolutely no sign of cartilage in the femur or in the tibia or in the fibula for both of my legs. Now, someone once said that even though we do go through growth plate ossification, the lines for the growth plate still remain. Well, I disagreed with them back then, and from what I see from the x-rays, it appears that it's... I would say that I'm right about that, at least that issue, which is that even the line for the growth plate disappears, and after a few years, what you get is just a smooth bone which is uh, just co smooth cortical bone. And, uh, yeah, there's no sign of any type of cartilage ever existing in any of the bone parts, as you can see. Yeah, so that's my name from three years ago. I crossed out the important information up there for privacy reasons. So that's one, and this is for my hands. These are indeed my hands, my left and my right. Indeed, Michael. And you can see also for the bones in the upper limbs, for the tarsals, you can see that there's also no cartilage there either in the long bones. There's no line there either in the wrist area or anything. Yeah, see, there's no line. There's no cartilage lines. Anyway. This goes to show that somehow, even... I don't know, I'm not sure how even the line goes away. I would assume then that the line probably has a little bit of cartilage in it. In it. But maybe cartilage is what causes the line. And when the cartilage completely goes away, the line also disappears. But... These are x-rays I have for my hands. I have five fingers. <laughs> Um, these x-rays were taken three years ago when I had some uh, pain in my hands and knees. I thought I had some type of uh, injury suffered from years ago when I was doing sports in high school. But apparently um, the orthopedic surgeon or doctor I talked to, he said that I had some bone spurs in my hands somewhere in the left and some bone spurs in my left knee. He says that there was just bone growth. There was actually bone growing out of my knees, like jutting out, which is sort of, which is almost like longitudinal growth, and I didn't believe him. And three years later, well, the pain in my knees mostly is actually all gone, and there's no pain in my hands, so I don't know what he was talking about. Apparently, at least the orthopedic doctor I was talking to, he was wrong about his assessment. So that's the reason why I have these x-rays from three years ago. See? 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 Mm -hmm. I also have to my left some x-rays that I did for my back also years ago, which was for my spine or vertebrae. L1, L2, L3, L4, L5, and then the I think it was the thoracic vertebrae and the cervical vertebrae, and you can sort of see this. This was also another diagnostic test I did 
years ago. But that's maybe I'll use that for uh, another time. So that's all for now. Something else I wanted to add was that these days I have been going to the local university library, the University of Washington, since I am based off of Seattle originally. I've been going to the, well, at least the medical school's library. I think it's called the Medical Health Library or something. I've been going there, looking through the sections, just trying to find any books on BMPs, uh, TGF betas, or in oxology, anything that could help us uh, move the endeavor further. I have been doing quite a bit of research and been going to the library quite a bit. Apparently, you don't need to be a student to be able to use the library the facilities because it is a public university, which is good. And, um, yeah, that's about it for now. Oh, maybe tomorrow I'll show you the books I've been going through. See you.